Hey everybody! This video is a simple compilation of all the YouTube shorts and videos I have done that shows you the various ways to make your AirPods louder. This way, all the tips are easy to find in one video. Hope you all enjoy! Hey everybody! Do you use Apple Music? Do you find your AirPods aren't loud enough? Make them louder with these settings. On your iPhone, go to Settings, then choose Music. Then scroll down to the Audio section to make sure that the EQ and Sound Check options are turned off. When these options are turned on, they can sometimes make your AirPods quieter. Hey everybody! Do you use Spotify? Do you find your music isn't loud enough sometimes? Make your music louder on your AirPods from Spotify. Open the Spotify app, tap on your account icon in the upper left, then tap on Settings and Privacy, then choose Playback. Then scroll down a little and choose Equalizer. Then scroll down and tap Small Speakers. I find this really increases the volume and even makes most of the music I listen to sound even better. Give it a try. Hey everybody! Do you need to make your AirPods louder? There's a variety of reasons why you might need them louder and a wide variety of options to make them louder. In this video, I'll show you all the ways to make your AirPods louder from the basics of adjusting your volume to more advanced settings and show you all the ways through both software and hardware to make your AirPods louder. So let's get to it! First, let's go over the basics of the volume controls. For all AirPods models, you can of course adjust the volume using the music or media player app you're using, adjust it through Control Center, use the volume buttons on your iPhone, and of course use Siri to increase the volume by saying something like, Hey Siri, turn it up! Or, Hey Siri, set volume to 65%. If you have second generation AirPod Pros, you can adjust the volume by placing your thumb on the stem of either AirPod and use your index finger to swipe up or down on the touch control. And if you have AirPods Max, you can of course use a digital crown. And a bonus, in case you didn't know, if you have an Apple Watch, you can use the Now Playing app to connect to your iPhone and adjust the volume using its digital crown. That one I find pretty handy at the gym. If you find you still need to make your AirPods louder, you can make sure your AirPods don't automatically reduce loud sounds. To adjust this setting, Go to the Settings app on your iPhone, then go to Sounds and Haptics, then tap Headphone Safety, then make sure Reduce Loud Sounds is turned off. Next, you can also adjust the audio tuning. To adjust this setting, go to the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap Accessibility, then scroll down and choose Audio Visual, then tap Headphone Accommodations. In this menu, you can adjust the audio tuning. There's three options. Balanced Tone, which is the default, and boosts over a range of frequencies. Vocal Range, which boosts the middle frequencies. And Brightness, which boosts the high frequencies. When you choose the range to boost, then you can use the slider underneath to boost the desired setting to make your AirPods louder. If you're an Apple Music user, you can also check the custom audio settings for Apple Music, as they can also cause your AirPods not to be as loud as you may like. There are two primary settings in Apple Music that may cause this, Sound Check and the Equalizer. The Sound Check feature basically tries to keep your volume consistent across all songs. This ensures that you will still get the same volume when you go from a quieter song to a louder one. Tweaking the Equalizer or EQ setting can also be why your AirPods sound quieter. Lowering the EQ sliders for a certain frequency range means suppressing sounds in that frequency which leads to an overall lower volume. So you can go make sure these settings are disabled. Open the Settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to Music. Then scroll down and first make sure the EQ is switched to Off. If it's on, tap the control and choose the Off option. Under that, make sure the Sound Check option is also switched off. If you still need to make your AirPods even louder, make sure that they are clean. Earwax and dirt buildup on the headphone speaker can cause your AirPods to be quieter, or even muffled. The recommended way to clean your AirPods is to gather these three things and clean them. Isopropyl alcohol, a toothpick, and an old toothbrush, or some other type of small brush with soft bristles. Using these three things, you can clean your AirPods effectively. 
First, lightly spray the speaker mesh with a drop of isopropyl alcohol and leave it for a few seconds. Then use the toothpick to pick out the dirt and debris from around the speaker mesh. Then lightly brush the speaker mesh area with the old toothbrush to clean out the mesh holes. Repeat until all the dirt and debris is cleaned out. I found if you don't have the isopropyl alcohol that spraying the speaker holes out with a can of compressed air can often work pretty well too. And lastly, if you've done all this, you may want to try resetting your AirPods, as this can fix many AirPods issues, including them not being loud enough in some instances. Bear in mind, if you reset your AirPods, then you'll want to double check the changes we made in the settings app earlier, as they will be reset back to factory default settings. The steps to reset your AirPods are the same for all models except for the AirPods Max. To reset your AirPods, you'll need to make sure both of them are in the case. Open the lid and then press and hold the pairing button on the back. Eventually the status light will start blinking amber. Continue to press and hold the pairing button. Then finally the status light will blink white. When the status light blinks white, you can then let go of the button. Now that the AirPods are reset, you can pair them again with your iPhone by first closing the case, waiting a moment, and then opening the case beside your iPhone. This will then start the pairing process from scratch. And to reset the AirPods Max, first, Apple recommends charging your AirPods Max for a few minutes to make sure they have enough power to go through the process. Then press and hold both the noise control button and digital crown for 15 seconds until the LED flashes amber, then white. Now you can go through and connect the AirPods Max back to your iPhone or computer from scratch. If your iPhone or computer are not picking up the AirPods Max to set up again, Press and hold the noise control button until the LED flashes white to put them in connect or discovery mode. Those are all the ways I know to make your AirPods louder. Did I miss something you know? Which of these worked the best for you? Feel free to share with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more tech videos, including tech how to's. See you in the next one. Hey everybody, welcome to my video about how to set up personalized spatial audio for your AirPods. This feature is available for all AirPods Pro models, AirPods Max, third generation AirPods, and even the Beats Fit Pro. To set this up, you'll need to be using iOS 16 or newer and have an iPhone with a true depth camera such as an iPhone 10 or newer. According to Apple, with personalized spatial audio, you can use a true depth camera on your iPhone to create a personal profile for spatial audio that delivers a listening experience tuned just for you. From my own experience so far, it does seem to make a bit of a difference with spatial audio when using content that supports spatial audio such as Apple Music or movies. Overall, I found it does make a bit of a difference by making the sound space sound a bit wider. Once you set this up on your iPhone, the settings will flow over to all other Apple devices set up with the same iCloud account. The setup is quite user friendly. First, put on your AirPods and connect them to your iPhone. Once connected, go to the settings app on your iPhone and choose your AirPods. Then scroll down to the spatial audio section and tap personalize spatial audio. Then on the next menu, tap personalize spatial audio. On this screen, I'd recommend removing your AirPods from your ears. If you don't, the setup process will ask you to do so anyway. Now tap continue. On this step, it's going to set up the front view. To capture the front view, Apple recommends holding your iPhone about 12 inches directly in front of you. Position your face in the camera frame, then slowly move your head in a circle to show all angles of your face, just like you did when setting up Face ID. The circle outline will turn green when an angle is sampled, letting you know what's missing. Now tap Start Front View Capture and perform the capture. Once it's captured, the circle will turn green and allow you to tap Continue. Next is your right ear. Tap Start Right Ear Capture. To capture a view of your right ear, hold your iPhone with your right hand, move your right arm 45 degrees to your right, then turn your head slowly to the left. Once captured, tap Continue. To capture a view of your left ear, switch your iPhone to your left hand, move your left arm 45 degrees to your left, then turn your head slowly to the right. There are audio and visual cues that will help you finish setup. Once the ear capture is complete, 
it will bring you to the end screen to let you know it's completed the setup. Tap Done. Now Personalized Spatial Audio is set up. When you go to the AirPods menu, you can tell by seeing that Personalized Spatial Audio is on. Will you be trying out Personalized Spatial Audio? How did you find it? Does it make any difference for you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos, including tech how-to, every week.